I'm Babs. I'm here with Nancy. We are both members of the Empowering Women panel, which works with the First Minister's National Advisory Council on women and girls. We are working to make Scotland a more equal place for women and girls. Nancy, can you tell us a bit about what the National Advisory Council on Women and Girls is? The National Advisory Council advises the First Minister on how to tackle gender inequality. It has run in two phases. In phase one, 2018 to 2021, it made recommendations to the First Minister. These were written down in reports and the Scottish Government accepted these recommendations. In phase two, it is examining the progress made with these recommendations. It has done things like ask Scottish Government to reply to written questions and held events with Scottish Government officials and ministers to find out what has changed since the recommendations were made. And Nancy, how has the Empowering Women panel been involved? The Empowering Women panel was set up during phase two to help make sure that the work of the National Advisory Council is informed by marginalised women and girls. It involves up to 20 women and girls from across Scotland with different experiences. As panel members, we influenced the work of the Advisory Council through developing some of the questions that Scottish Government were asked about progress. We also did research, helped to plan events, give presentation and hosted group discussions at events. That all sounds great. So, Nancy, what did the Advisory Council and the panel find uh, that had changed because of their work? It was clear that there had been some changes because of the work the Advisory Council and the panel had done. For example, a new Equality and Human Rights Director was set up in the Scottish Government and a new leadership group focusing on equality, including gender equality. Senior officials and ministers who had been involved with the Advisory Council said their awareness and understanding of gender inequality increased at a basic level. Scottish Government officials also said that more questions were being asked about gender equality in their work. This includes the questions from the Advisory Council, but also more questions being asked within government and through plans they have for government to report to Parliament on gender equality in the future. But what difference will this make for women and girls in Scotland? You're right, Babs. The Advisory Council members and Scottish Government officials were clear that this shift was in the very early stages. They said some of this had been translated into changes in the decisions that were made, particularly around justice and health, but that much more work needed to be done. What was the experience of the Advisory Council and the panel finding out from the Scottish Government officials what had changed, what worked well and what was challenging? It was mixed. Overall, Scottish Government officials thought that the idea of examining progress with recommendations was useful. Some parts of the approach worked well. Things like, we had lots of informal conversations at events with Empowering Women panel members, Advisory Council members and Scottish Government officials that worked well. Scottish Government officials said they liked learning from the lived experience of the Empowering Women panel, which gave presentations and talked about findings from our research and our own experiences. Very senior Scottish Government officials and ministers came to the events, which worked well. And Nancy, you, you mentioned that some things didn't work so well. What were they? Yes, there were parts that could have been better. The Advisory Council asked Scottish Government officials lots of written questions. These took a lot of time and didn't really get the answers we needed. Some parts of the events felt intimidating and adversarial for Scottish Government officials, which undermined some of the relationships we had built. 
one of the sessions that didn't really work very well for panel members, we went up the back of the room and felt a bit disconnected from what was happening. And was there learning about how the Empowering Women panel could work better? There was. Some of the panel members felt that they could be better connected with the advisory council. They liked to understand more about how to contribute to the work of the advisory council. Relationships between the advisory council and the panel had built over time, but there was still more work to be done on this. OK, so what's going to happen next? The Advisory Council and panel want to make Scotland a more equal place for women and girls. This will take time, so the Advisory Council should keep advising the First Minister on this. It is such a big task that it will have to continue in stages, and it is agreeing a new focus of its work just now. The Empowering Women panel will keep working with the Advisory Council and has been involved in choosing the area we will focus on next, which is really important. The Advisory Council will learn from its early work exploring progress with recommendations and think about how this changes its approach as it moves forward. Thank you, Nancy. That all sounds really exciting and we'll watch this space. <laughs>